The Internet On May 13, 1974, Arthur C. Clarke made a bold prediction of the future of computers. The big difference when he grows up, in fact, if we wanted to wait for the year 2001, is that he will have in his own house, not a computer as big as this, but at least a console through which he can talk to his friendly local computer and get all the information he needs for his everyday life, like his bank statements, his theater reservations, all the information you need in the course of living in a complex modern society. This will be in a compact form in his own house. He'll have a television screen like these here and a keyboard and he'll talk to the computer, get information from it, and he'll take it as much for granted as we take the telephone. Today, Arthur C. Clarke predictions are now a reality, with modern computers playing a role in nearly every aspect of our society. There are now more powerful machines that are able to do billions of calculations every second. We share our thoughts, our lives for everyone to see. We now shop for clothes, food and assets from the comfort of our own home and we even perform financial tra transactions with a click of a button. All of this is possible through massive network of networks, a giant networking infrastructure. It connects millions of computers together globally, forming a network in which any computer can communicate with any other computer as long as they are both connected to the internet. However, during the last few years, the computer network security remains a problem of great concern within information technology research area. Increase of network scale, development of advanced information technologies and other factors enhance the number of possible targets for attacks against computer networks. Computer security is one of the biggest concerns for governments and organizations around the world right now. Cyber security is applied to computing devices such as computers and smartphones, as well as computer networks such as private and public networks, including the whole internet. Cyber security is the process of applying security measures to ensure confidentiality, integrity and availability of data. Cyber security attempts to assure the protection of assets which include data, desktops, servers, buildings and most importantly humans. The goal of cyber security is to protect data both in transit and at rest. Countermeasures can be put in place in order to increase the security of data. Some of these measures include access control, audio training, accountability, risk assessment, penetration testing, vulnerability management, and security assessment and authorization. To eliminate the vulnerabilities, attacks, and ensure a high level of network and systems, an intrusion detection system is introduced to monitor the activities. An intrusion detection system is a device or software application that monitors network or system activities for malicious activities or policy violations and produ produces reports to a management station. Intrusion detection systems come in a variety of approaches and the goal of detecting suspicious traffic in different ways. Intrusion detection systems are becoming increasingly important mechanisms for ensuring the security of information systems. However, they cannot adapt to dynamic environment, environments related to changes in users' behaviours and changing attacks. Detecting such attacks requires a coloration of different tests performed at different points in the network. The various entities must then communicate their analysis and cooperate to effectively detect attacks. It is therefore important to design a new model that will overcome its disadvantages and improve the analyzer of the intrusion detection system. 
in targeting cyber security and preventing malicious attacks on networks and computers, implementing a multi-agent system security architecture that utilizes intrusion de detection can help prevent attacks before they happen. The goal of the new proposed multi-agent intrusion detection system is inspired by the defensive mechanisms of the immune system that is highly distributed in nature. In this approach, immunity-based agents roam around the machines, for example nodes or routers, and monitor the situation in the network. They will look for changes such as malfunctions, faults, abnormalities, misuses, diversions and intrusions. These agents can mutually recognize each other's activities and can take appropriate actions according to their underlying security policies. Specifically, their activities are coordinated in a hierarchy fashion while sensing, communicating and generating responses. These multi-agent intrusion detections are a smart agent that can learn and adapt to its environment dramatically and can detect both known and unknown intrusions. The main objective is to design a multi-agent intrusion detection system that can simultaneously monitor networking computer activities at different levels such as user level, system level, process level and packet level to make robot robust decisions on intrusions and anomalies. The novelty of this intrusion detection system lies primarily in the multi-agent architecture, in particular an agent's role, adaptivity, regulation, life cycle, diversity and dynamic mechanisms. The proposed system is designed to be flexible, extendable and adaptable that can perform near, perform near real-time monitoring in accordance with the needs and preferences of the organisation. The proposed intrusion detection agents can evaluate the current situation and follow a sequence of actions as a part of the decision making process. The following represents a framework and the activities of different types of agents that are coordinated in, the hierarchy, in this hierarchy fashion. The first agent is the monitoring agents. These agents are vigilant and patrol the network nodes and communicating devices with specific intention to look for malfunctions, faults, anomalies, diversions and problems. The monitoring agents have the capacity to scour different levels of the network scale. From the system level to the user level, the agents will check for invalid or unauthorized process and priority violations at packet level. All of the monitoring agents are very important. Some of these agents may work in the comp complement non-self space for monitoring changes, while others will have the knowledge of the known intrusions and find them. The second agent is the communicator agent. The communicator agents serve as a message carrier or negotiators with limited abilities in order to make a smooth liaison among the other agents. The communicator agents play a vital role in ensuring that all agents are aware of the situation and their responsibilities. The third agent among this architecture is the action agents. They are involved in making decisions in determining which agents they need to be activated or performing specific tasks according to the underlying security policies. Action agents may activate an appropriate set of response agents, for example helper agents, killer agents or suppressor agents depending on the nature and severity of the intrusion. The fourth agent is the helper agent which is activated by action agents through the communicator agents. Once activated, they report the status of the environment to the end user or display the decision report. The next agent is the killer agents 
and they are supposed to take drastic action in case of real intrusion or malicious activities. For example, at network packet level, the agents may discard a stream of packets if the packet seems suspicious in transaction. They may be activated through communicator agents or by multiple agents in case of a real danger or high priority attack. The final agents are the suppressor agents and they are activated by action agents through the communicator agents through the hierarchy model but they will generally suppress any further action that may be taken by other decision agents. They can prevent any action due to false positivities in later stages of the intrusion detection process. Through the development of the immunity-based multi-agent detection system is an ongoing effort However, once ready, in the future, it will be useful to any security conscious organisation with sensitive data and software. In the future, it is hoped that the multi-agent system can simultaneously monitor network activities at different levels and can detect both inside misuse and outside attacks. Also looking forward, Ongoing research and work will need to address the issues of protecting the immune agents from corruption by malicious activities, as the immune agents could be misused or reprogrammed to cause conflict. The increased network connectivity and easy access to information and resources through internet and the World Wide Web makes the security issue one of the most important factors in today's computing world. The ever-growing promise of electronic commerce also contributing to the explosive growth of the internet and the underlying communication networks. Though there are many security related products and technologies, yet the potential threats and vulnerabilities are intractable. Repose immune multi-agent system architecture attempts to investigate several potential use useful properties in a single framework in order to develop a robust and intelligent detection system. This system will provide the user with better monitoring of the network environment and give additional tools to making the computer system secure. As intruders finding new ways to break in, security systems should be more flexible and intelligent enough to withstand both known and unknown attacks. still do his business through a device like this. And this is a wonderful thing. It means we want him to be stuck in cities. We better live out in the country or wherever we